and uh, let's see so in avr uh, first of i first of all i will explain what is avr from its name you can understand a means automatic b means voltage and r mean regulate regulator so automatic voltage regulator is avr so i will explain what actually happened for example we have a generator so this is the generator okay so generator having a field winding and it is having some supply so it is giving supply to the various consumer various motors and other things so let us consider we connect one motor to the generator and what will happen when we will connect the motor the motor will draw a very high volt current and it will cause the voltage dip voltage dip inside the uh, winding of uh, generator so inside the winding of generator the voltage dip is there so that dip uh, is remain there so we need to increase the voltage so what we will need to do we will need to increase the field excitation this is the field excitation coil so we need to increase the field current here so for that we need to use some potentiometer and you can see it is taking supply from here only so we use some potentiometer here p so that potentiometer will uh, we will uh, adjust the potentiometer and it will increase the uh, current here and it will increase the field and the generator voltage will uh, come back to its normal position now that is uh, we need to do manually so uh, if we don't want to do manually then we need to put here uh, one thing that is known as avr so avr will do automatically we don't need to worry about that we just put here uh, avr and this avr will uh, do its work so that today i am going to explain so let's see uh, you are with this diagram uh, and graph this is the voltage okay and this is the time across the time so now your generator rated voltage is 440 volt and it is 100 percent so generator is running at 440 volt suddenly the motor started when motor started is voltage dip up to this and then slowly it will come try to come and it will not reach uh, maybe it reach 380 or 370 volt so let's it reach the 380 voltage so without avr if no avr is there the there is loss of voltage is there unless we will uh, trim the voltage we will increase the supply manually and it will come back to its normal position but we need to uh, do it manually so that is the case here but uh, we cannot do in every case the motor is run and we will increase and decrease the field current here manually it's very difficult so for that we have avr so avr what actually happened now consider this is a 440 volt and what will happen when the voltage motor started and voltage dip more than 50 percent so what will happen it will dip and our avr will come into action ABR will come into action and ABR will give a more field excitation current to this field and this will cause the voltage to come back to its position slowly slowly so it's have a capacity that uh, it will manage the voltage plus minus 2.5 percent plus minus 2.5 percent so here it will keep uh, up and down and uh, ABR will regulate up to that voltage and one more thing that ABR have a capability that it will try to come the voltage dip of 50 percent to plus minus 2.5 percent within 1.5 second maximum it will take so it is so quick so uh, if we have ABR in the generator then we don't have any problem so now I will explain uh, this is all about what is the ABR now I will explain its basic uh, its uh, block diagram so let me go to the block diagram and I explain that one okay so this is the ABR block diagram so okay this is one uh, 
okay okay now first of all uh, i will explain the various component of the uh, abr so this is geo generator this one from here we are getting the supply 440 volt 60 hot and three phase ac we are getting this is the field dc field uh, coil or we can say field from where uh, it is creating a field and that is cut by the conductor because this one is a rotating part and the emf is produced here now let us consider we have one motor here and that motor will run like this maybe three phase motor or two phase motor whatever it is so what will happen the voltage dip will happen when voltage dip will occur so this voltage dip is taken care of the voltage sensing sensor is there so it will sense the voltage that voltage dip is there so now it will send a signal to the comparator comparator will compare it with the set value okay set value uh, is compared with the uh, this this voltage uh, whatever we are getting for example here we are getting 380 380 volt and we have a set value of 440 so from here we will get error error and that error signal is sent to the error signal is sent to the amplifier where the amplifier will amplify the signal so after amplifying the signal it will send the signal to the thyristor so thyristor what will happen we are applying its uh, ac supply and it will convert into the dc also and it will control the supply also so that signal will go that signal uh, from amplifier will act, uh, activate the thyristor and it will increase the supply to this when it's increased the supply to this it increases the dc field current and that dc field current will cause uh, to increase the voltage so here again the voltage increase is 440 so it will increase 440 and the voltage sensor sense and uh, due to some lag so it will increase little bit more so then voltage sensor sense that okay we are getting now 445 volt so it will send a signal again to the comparator that uh, we have a 4 uh, 445 volt and the error signal will go and it will uh, dead amplify signal and it will reduce the current so it will again come down and slowly slowly it will stable to its position so this in this way it will uh, you can say it will uh, within uh, plus minus 2.5 percent voltage dip it will maintain and it will act at a uh, voltage of 15 percent voltage dip and also it will uh, maintain that voltage within 1.5 second so this is all about uh, your ABR the block diagram this is a simple one and then I will go to the more uh, complicated uh, st uh, circuit of this where we can see what we have in voltage sensing element what we have in comparator and what we have in uh, amplifier that is the tr transistor we have so for example uh, here we have a geno diode and the geno diode will act as a uh, your comparator and the transistor is act as a uh, your uh, transistor is act as a your amplifier and this thyristor has act as a convert into the dc and also supplying the voltage increase or decrease as per the gate voltage so this is all about uh, hope you like this video if you like this video please don't forget to uh, hit like button